Welcome everybody to tonight's streaming shenanigans. For a majority of the time, we're going to be drafting Zendikar Rising on Arena since it just came out yesterday. But first things first, we're actually going to open a booster box of Zendikar Rising. So I did open the Expedition first just to make sure that I've been hearing reports of actually these being damaged and such, so I wanted to be safe and sorry. Nevertheless, our Expedition was actually Valakath the Molten Pinnacle. Pretty good card in like Mono Red EDH deck, so I actually don't mind pulling this. And of course, we get the Biobots promo, which is Aura, Aura, Skyclave, Hero Font. So, and of course, thanks to Game Nut for actually providing me this box. It's very lovely that they were good enough to do this. So, we're just going to actually open this box. See what shenanigans that we can pull from it. Let's see. There we go. Ah, uh, always got to mess up with this little filter thingy. There we go. Splendor around it to the pepperoni. So, nevertheless, Cinegar Rising, overall from what I'm playing during the early access, has been pretty fun. So, and also the first day. Mostly, if there's anything I really wish to pull from these, probably Lithiform Engine is definitely one. But just getting the lands and also some of the other really cool mythics in the set would not be bad either. So we're going to see what we open in here and just see what shenanigans. So we're going to open the first pack. I'm going to guess that we're going to see if this is like one of the, uh, yeah, this is one of the uh, Japanese printings. So they put their stuff in the front. We do get a really gorgeous island. That's also one cool thing about getting these boxes is that you do get the, uh, you do get your, uh, full art basic shenanigans. Oh, and we get a foil. We get a foil maddening concophony. Uh, that's actually a really good pull there, especially for the milling shenanigans. And our actual rare is an inscription of ruin. Not a bad kicker spare. And then our modal card is a... Son of Mad Treachery. Do, 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 ba, do, 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 you gonna go mad. With, of course, having the possibility of playing as a dual land. So that's a nice one. Also, I do love the art on this uncommon. Oh, ah, slip there. Whoopsies. <laughs> I do love this art on Fort the Grave. Great art from, let me get the artist here. Wiley Beckett. Or really great art do adore the art of this card so before we continue on i'm going to see if i can adjust the resolution on this camera just real quick nah it is as high as it can be oh wait Okay, let me now test the resolution, putting the card up close. Better-ish. So yeah, that's definitely a nice pull. And we also get a Cinderclasm. A card that I think is going to be a lot more relevant, especially with the Lotus Cobras out. So, definitely not a bad first pack. And let's see if we get any showcase cards common. No showcase cards in the common area, so... Nevertheless, I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Okay, we get a plant token. A beautiful plains. And, ooh, I wanted to pull this card. No Priest of Oblivion. Great card. Kicker, free in the black, minus lifelink. And when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Like this card a lot. So, which means we're probably going to get a modal uncommon, which in this case is Clammy Ambush. Pretty much an instant speed fight spell, and then you could put it in as a tap land. So, very nice. Then we get Moss Pit Skeleton as our other uncommon, and Thundering Spark Mage as another uncommon. Any showcase commons? No. So, we're going to put that to the side here. Actually, we're going to throw this right here with trash can is so we don't do so we don't make a too big of a mess anyway so another one of these proxy cards a beautiful swamp and 
Oh, hey, a foil showcase art card, the Skyclay Pickaxe. I still need a brood around this card in Arena, but I do like it, potentially. It definitely has some fun potential. And <laughs> two showcase cards. Look at that. We get a foil showcase of the Skyclay Pickaxe, which pretty much enters battlefield. You can target a creature. And then when this enters the battlefield, when a land enters the battlefield, creature gets a plus two, plus two boost. That's really nice. And we also get a rare Felidar Retreat. Landfall, whenever the land enters the battlefield, choose one, create a cat, or put counters on your creatures and make them have vigilance until in a turn. This card has been really, really nutty in the landfall decks in the meta at the moment. It's kind of like a Field of the Dead to an extent. Though, if Machiel is on the stream, he'll probably be saying Scoot Swarm kind of takes that cake. But still, great that we pulled two showcase cards in the same pack. And our modal card is a Makani Stampede that also has a choice of entering in as a tap land. Veteran Adventurer. Eh. Fireblade Charger. I do like my little goblin. Not gonna lie about that. Okay, let me adjust these real quick so that we can show more of the bounty, so to speak. And then, let's see. Any fancy... Did we get a third showcase card? No, but... I do find this funny how in both the packs we both get an Into the Royal and a Royal Eruption, which are, you know, great answers and limited. So, definitely nice to pull that. So, anyway, how's everybody's night been so far? I hope my audio is doing just fine, so... And hope you're enjoying the stream opening shenanigans. Okay, so... We get our Moto card. We get our fancy land. And we get Cargon Intimidator, a nice little aggro warrior, which pretty much has uh, one of the favorite tets in Magic, Cowards Can't Block Warriors. What's also nice is it has activated abilities to make it give it get some give itself plus one plus one, make a target creature become a coward until in turn, or a target warrior gains trample until in the turn. One of the most nifty synergies I've been actually seeing with this card is people playing it in Winota decks, where they have a human on the field, but they want to get a Winota trigger off the human, and they just use this card to actually make the human into a coward, thus uh, pretty much uh, negating all the creature types, and then thus essentially getting a Winota trigger off it. Really nice to see that. Then we got our first duplicate, so Stampede. So eh, at least we got two of those. Then we got a Paired Tactician and a Merfolk Falconer. Also, really great popper card, I will say. Limited, it's Good, but I wouldn't say don't get too greedy on those, if I'm being honest. And then we get to Welcome to Magic Gathering Arena. Advertisement. No code. Wah, wah. So then we get a nice forest and... Ooh, this card, the Legion Angel. Pretty much a 4 mana, 4 free flyer when ETBs. Let me make sure it's not in the light. There we go. Pretty much when it enters the battlefield, you can tutor one out from your sideboard. Very nice card. Do like this card a lot. And we get, oh, we get the little buddy. We get the little Florahedron Moto Land buddy. This card's art is amazing. <laughs> also, speaking of great art, uh, this fledging, it's like, yeah! love this art. Do love this art a lot. And also we get a Cargan War Leader, so very nice. Any worthwhile commons? Eh, nothing that screams out to me, so... So far, no Mythics yet, though the Showcase, uh, both Showcase and one pack was actually a really nice pull there, so... More to get. So, we get a Copy Token. And we get a Plains and a Foil Prowling Felidar. And pretty much a really decent common uh, card. Essentially, when it enters the battlefield, whenever it lands the battlefield, it gets counter. Very silly in the right matchups. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that was a nice pull. We got Omnath, Locus of Creation. Ugh, this card's so absurd on the ladder. 
I think once people start knowing how to answer it, it's not going to be as obnoxious, but this is definitely a powerful card. And pulling the showcase art of it, it's not a foil showcase like someone showed on Twitter, but still, even not foil, this is like, this is really gorgeous art. Like, super gorgeous art. So, that's definitely a pull. And then our moto card is the Ambush, Scion of the Swarm, and Veteran Adventure. Any worthwhile commons of the showcase variety? Oh, we do get a showcase common in here. We do get the Akam Hellhound. Honestly, I still need to make the, like, Boros Puppies deck and just essentially throw this in there. So then, yeah, we're going to put these to the side. So our first myth Mythic is a Showcase Art uh, Omnath. I think it's safe to say that's a start. <laughs> okay, so we get the little kitty token. A very nice mountain. And, ooh, Teju Paragon. One a green for a free two elf. It is also a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, and Wizard. And it also has a Kicker, which essentially allows you to tutor for a creature of its type. Very going to be very interesting to see how this card does in the meta. I do like it, because still as a 2-mana free 2, it's perfectly fine. But that Kicker ability is nothing to sleep on, I would say. Creature tutor spells are always nice. And then we got our... Ugh, this art always creeps me out, but a eh, decent Moto land card for limited, I would say. I wouldn't draft it always, but it's something to consider. Then we get a Relic of Relic File, a.k.a. Artifact uh, Zooport Cutthroat, if you have a Cleric on the battlefield. And, of course, Fireblade Charger. <laughs> Let's see. Any showcase in the comments? Nope. So we're going to put that to the side. Then go on to the next pack. Okay, so token, we get ourselves a swamp, and we get Grackball, Skyclave, Ravager. Pretty much a 0-0, zero, zero, but it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Then when I have another creature controlled dies, if it had a counter on it, one one counter, put a counter, another counter on this, and whenever this dies, create an X sets black and green, hide your creature token where it exits the number of plus one plus one counters on Grackball. Very nice. Great Moto Land. We got one of these that we needed, which is Salundi Vision. Probably one of the best of these uh, cycle of lands that enter in as a tapped battlefield of the uncommon slot. Then we got a Relic Ats. And <laughs> we got the uh, card that actually makes the cute little cat token. Uh, let me get it out real quick. Let's see. I think I throw it in this pile. Let's find it. Just saw it in a minute ago. Oh, there it is. Ah, yep. This card that makes the cutest cat token ever. It's so cute. So cute. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Any showcase comments while we're out here? Ooh, we do. We get the Territorial Scythe Cat. I still need to play this in Limited. I do think it's kind of scary in Limited, but uh, pretty much any time with Landfall, it gets bigger and bigger. Very nice. So we're going to throw that over here as well. Okay. Another pack. Another time to see some shenanigans. Okay, so that. Fancy Swamp. And hey, a foil stonework pack beast. <laughs> well, if I do some colorless shenanigans with the party variety, that's a cute way. Oh, speaking of party, we got a really good moto card. Glass Pole Mimic. A shapeshift the rogue. It enters the copy as any creature on into the blah. words, Jordan. It enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature, except it's also shapeshift the rogue. But if you need to, it enters in as a land as well. Very nice pull. Also, we get a horn beetle. Nice way to make some insect tokens. A roost of drakes, which is really fun in the kicker shenanigans deck. And a nearly a captain, which in draft, perfectly fine. Then let's see. Everything else? Eh. No uh, comments to write home about. Okay, token card, Fancy Island, and a foil tankard florahedron. 
Let's see actually how the tapped uh, land looks like. Yo, that's so cool. Especially with the inscription foils on it. That is so cool. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> and our rare is actually another modal card, which is Valakut Awakening. Pretty much uh, discard your hand, draw that many cards, or enters in as a tap land. Then we have Ruin Crab, a.k.a. He joins Crab, more obnoxious brother. We have then an Acquisitions Expert. And a Royaline Regrowth. Let's see, any showcase in the commons? Nope. Okay, we get a copy token. We get a really cool, scary swamp. And we get... Oh, now here's Lift Reforming. I really still want to test this card out. I finally was able to get enough of the wild cards to actually craft the, these. Pretty much, you sacrifice X lands, and then for each land sacrificed this way, you draw a card, and then you may play X additional lands each turn. And then the lands you control into the battlefield tap this turn. I definitely think there's some shenanigans you can do with this in Standard and also in Modern, so definitely keeping my eye on this. Then we get Polika Predation as a modal card. Not a bad card, I would say. Then we got the Taunting Arbor Mage, the Shadow Steiner, and let's see, any showcase commons? No. Okay, welcome to Arena. Nice swamp, and ooh, Roiling Vortex. I still am surprised I haven't seen many people try this out yet in Standard. Since you won the red for an enchantment, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals one damage to, to them. And then whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, Roiling Vortex deals five damage to that player. Eh, I feel like there's some silly shenanigans you can do with this, but mostly you're playing this for the incremental peen and the factor that the red ability makes it where you can't uh, gain, an opponent can't gain life this turn, which could be relevant, especially with Uro shenanigans. And our modal card is a Jirari Disruption, aka Sensor, but also a tap land. Then Falconer and Ravager's Mace, which honestly, probably one of my least favorite cards of the party kind of like mechanic. Let's see, any showcase? Ooh, we do get a showcase. We get the Kazandu Nectopod. A cute little bug. Just a cute little bug. Just a cute little bug doing a buggy things. Shenanigans as they sing. Anyway, let's move on. Speaking of bug, here's Bug Token. Here's a really cool mountain. And here is... Ooh, your Sharn, Implacable Earth. A 4-4 legendary creature, Elemental Boar. When it enters the battlefield, search a library for a basic forest and a basic planes card, and then reveal them, put them into your hand. And then players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. Very nice tech card, but I do think as a 4 mana, just draw two cards. Especially in landfall style decks. Nothing to underestimate. Then we got Malakir's Rebirth as a modal card, a.k.a. Flick or something back in if it's about to die. Or tap land. Then we got Goma Thod Vanguard. Relic Golem. Any showcases in the commons? Uh, no. Boop. Okay. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. There we go. So we get Proxy Card. Nice Swamp. And... Eh, a foil of the mace that, as I said before, I don't really think is amazing. But we get -hoo -hoo, our second mythic, Emiria's Call. Very nice. This is the cycle of really high power spells. Or if you need them to, they can also be a untapped land if you're willing to bolt yourself. So, very nice pull. That was a nice pull. Then we got Journey into Oblivion. Great limited card. Mind Carver, and Low Mage is familiar with a really cute dragon on the art. So let's see. 
Not much, so we're gonna throw that there. Then, next pack. Uh, bada beep, bada boop, bada doom. We got our proxy card. We are a forest. Great art on the forest. Then we get a foil utility knife. Not bad, limited if you need it. And we got awesome. We got Sawgrass Thief of the Heart Beats. Okay, sorry, that was a little bling there, but uh, great card. I really want to toy with this in Mardu Control. Definitely just a nice card. Even just getting this to five mana is perfectly fine. And being able to destroy Planeswalkers is nothing to sneeze at. So, great pull. We get Creepy Art, Scion of the Swarm, Paired Tactician, any showcase in the commons? No. Okay, there we go. We get ourselves an Angel Warrior token, a Plains, and ooh, Skyclave Apparition. Kind of our Oblivion Ring ish type card of the set. So, pretty much, well, actually, more like a semi. I think Banisher Priest is the better comparison, actually. Definitely gonna be interesting to see if people play this in like Yorion control decks, so I'm definitely curious about it. Then our modal card is Fastwood Fortification. We got Rotog Night Runner, another good Gobel. Horn Beetle again. Any sh a showcase in the commons? Uh, no. So just checking to see if chat's uh, working. I think my chat's being a little glitchy, but let's take a look. If people can't hear me, can you say it in chat? I really just have to test to make sure this chat thing is working. I think it is, but I'm not sure. I'm doing the stream now in this chat, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we got another one of these proxy cards. Cool Mountain, and ooh, this is so pretty. A foil Linvara Shield of the Seagate. I think if a Jeskai Party deck is going to be a thing, it's because of this card. That is so pretty. And then what's our actual rare? A Shadows of Verdict. Eh, kind of our really slightly expensive uh, board wipe for, like, lower-cost creatures. But the fact that it exiles them is actually really nice, especially with the Uros of the world. Then our flip card is a Umaro Wizard that enters in as a tap land. Then we got Moraza's Root Glade. Uh, blah. Moraza Root Grazer. A.K.A. Kind of like the beast that... <laughs> I still think the art on this is actually really uh, cool. Then we got Amelia Captain. Any showcase cards in the common slot? Nope. Boop. Okie dokie. So we get this, we get a fancy swamp, and we get <laughs> another mythic! Nissa of the Shadow Brogues. I actually really wanted to pull this Planeswalker, so that's cool. A four legendary, a four loyalty planeswalker that has landfall. When that land enters, you put a loyalty count on it, and it has plus one untapped target land you control. You may have it become a free free elemental creature with haste and menace until in a turn it's still land, or a minus five, pretty much reanimate something from your graveyard with the mana cost equal to the amount of lands that you have in play. I kind of wanted to get this in the showcase art, but still pulling a Nissa, I'm not gonna complain. Great card. And then our moto card is a Kazul's Fury, so you can use it as Flame or as a Tap Land. Then we have Roost of Drakes, Rock Slide Sorcerer, and let's see, any showcase commons? No. Okay, on to the next pack. We get a Cat Beats token, perfect for our showcase uh, Felidar's Retreat. We get ourselves a nice mountain and a Coralham Chroniker. Chronic. 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 Me and pronunciations, everybody. Anyway, two and a blue for a Merfolk Wizard. Whenever you cast a kick spell, draw a card and discard a card. It then has when it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a card with it with a kicker ability from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. I think I like this in Limited. In Constructed, I feel like in a Yorion deck, it's a maybe. Definitely a maybe. 
Then our moto card is Black Rogue and also just the Tap Land. Then we got Core Blade Master, Spring Mantle Cleric. And let's see, any showcase commons? Nope, not at the moment. Next pack. So I think that's free mythic so far, I believe, because we got the land, we got Omnath, and we got Nissa. So let's see if we get any more. So I really gotta adjust the let's see if actually Hopefully that's better adjust the lighting. So where you got? Actually I got an idea. We got land uh, card, we get a fancy land, and a foil disenchant. Eh, actually, the foil on that's not bad, actually. And, ooh, for abs and counters, this is good. Orn Reef Ooze. Two and a green for a 2-2. Two -two. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever it attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each attacking creature you control. With a plus one, plus one counter on it. Very nice card. And then we got the Moto Wizard as our Moto card. We get Demon's Disciple. And we get the cute little showcase art of the mouse with Landfall. Great and limited. This is a beater and limited, especially if you're in a go white deck design. Landfall giving all your creatures plus one, plus one until in a turn. Nothing to underestimate. And we also get another showcase common, which in this case is the Sky Clave Squid. Eh, it's a fine card. Okay, so here we go. So we get our, our proxy card, we get our island, and we get a foil. Adventure awaits. I think actually the professor was talking about this for pop or so. Kind of nice to get a foil for this. And, oh, this card. I mean, if we were talking about pulling this when I was doing my spoiler review, I would have kind of been disappointed. But after I played it in the early access, this is actually a legit pretty decent card. So, not a bad pull if I say so myself. A model card is the warrior that enters in as a tap land. And we get a showcase Skyclave Geopede. Great card. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So pretty good limited card. Then we got Lithophone Bright. And then do we have any showcase? Oh, we get the Dreadworn Showcase, which is really creepy showcase art. But really good showcase art. Okay, so buddy, buddy do so, we get ourselves the token, the forest, and... Ooh! So you can get the extended art uh, of modal lands in this. Nice. So we get an extended art of modal land, a.k.a. the one that either taps for blue if you put it on this side, or taps for red if you put it on this side. The art on this is actually really gorgeous, so... Nice pull there. Then we got a relic amulet. Blood cheats first. I'm definitely keeping my eyes on this. Getting one or two more of these for it. <coughs> Constructed. It's nothing to sneeze at. And then we have a Wind Rider Wizard. There we go. And let's see. Any showcase commons? Uh, no. Okay. We get a Drake token. A nice island, and... Hey, the Nimble Trap Finder! Cool little card here. Just a 2-1 that whenever a party creature enters the battlefield, this becomes unblockable, and then at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, creature you control pretty much has it when they deal combat damage, draw a card. Very nice. Then we got the card that is a good card for standard, but the art still creeps me out. Deal one damage to something. If it dies, exile it, and then it enters in as a tap land if you need to. And then we have Vast Ward Surge. Sure-footed Infiltrator. And let's see, any showcase arts in the commons? Nope. Okay. We get our little Goblin Construct token. Maybe we can get a Ruin Robber in our future. We get a Plains. And we get... 
that's our fourth mythic, and it's the one I wanted to pull. The Lithoform Engine. <laughs> oh boy, there's going to be some jank with this card. Copy and target tr triggered activate abilities, or copy an instant sorcery spell, or copy a permanent spell. Very absurd card. I can't wait to do some EDH shenanigans with this little bugger. So, great pull. Then our modal card is Sejuri's Shelter, that also enters in as a tap lane. We also got Vine Gecko, pretty good if you're playing a kicker deck, and Alloyed at Salt. <laughs> but yeah, that's four mythics so far, so we're doing pretty good. And I got the one that I really wanted from the set, so I am not going to complain. I wanted an Omnath, and I wanted a uh, Form Engine, so that's a plus in my book, everybody. So we get our Moto card. We get our nice mountain, and we get, ooh, Nighthawk Scavenger. Pretty much vamp Vampire Nighthawk, but upgraded. Very nice tech card. Great card. <laughs> kind of like a Termagoyf, and also a Nighthawk. Then we have Droid's Disruption as our pretty much modal card, and then we have Sorry Poppy, good in the rogues list. We have Moranza Sprouting, and do we have any showcase commons? Uh, no. But you. But you. Okay, so we got our sh our little proxy card, a beautiful plains, and <laughs> our fifth mythic, and a really good one too. Sea Gate Stormcaller. One in a blue for a 2-1 human wizard. It has kicker four in a blue. But you pretty much play it as a snapcaster mage to copy your instant and sorcery spells that cost two or less. Love this card. A lot of people are actually playing this in historic with sh shenanigans with Neoform. So, great pull. And then our modal card is a Kafari takedown with the tap land side. A mystic. A Lou Mage a Domination. And do we have any showcase art cards? Ooh, we do. We get the McKinney Ox, which, eh, it's fine as a curve fill in limited, in my opinion. Still, the art on it is pretty gorgeous with the showcase, and even the regular art, plus the flavor text on the regular art card is just absolutely hilarious if you remember original Syndicar. Anyway, add card. Then we get our Mountain, and we get... <laughs> Machiel, I pulled your field of the dead. Scoot Swarm. Two and a green, 1-1. One, one. Landfall when a land enters the battlefield under your control. Create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. If you control six or more lands, create a token that's a copy of this creature. <laughs> I just remember seeing his stream a little bit before I started my stream on the early access and just seeing how Machiel was breaking this card and just making a crap ton of tokens. Plus, if you mutate on this bugger... Ridiculously hilarious. And then our Moto card is a Balagad Recovery, which uh, I wanted to pull a few of these, so it's good that we got one so far. Then we got a Kite Sail Cleric and a Base Camp. I still think this card's fine, in my opinion. And let's see, any showcase commons? No, but actually, we can show the McKinney Ots and the... Uh, like I said, the art of the McKinney Ots is really cool, plus the flavor text, which I'll read... May blood flies into your veins and turn you into a dried letter sack, cow. For those who don't know, that's actually a reference to another ox in the original Zendikar, with the same guy pretty much uh, being mad at the ox in that art, too, so it's a nice callback. Then we get a core warrior token. One of the bull islands. I wanted to pull one of the bull islands, so very nice. And, ooh, a foil thundering spark mage. More of a limited card, but I am kind of curious of doing a Yorion party deck with this as kind of like the Flame Ton Kavu, so to speak. And we get Cinder Barons. Needed to pull one of these, so very nice modal card. Just a nice little card that pretty much uh, you can sink mana into it to make it into a creature and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you know what I mean. Then we also get Skyclay uh, Cleric. Uh, that also has a chance to enter in tap. That's really nice. We also get our good little gobble friend. We've got a Sky Clave Plunder. Well, these are getting messed up. Okay. And we also get a showcase card. We get the Canopy Bailoff Showcase. So, very nice. Okay. So, we get ourselves a proxy. We get ourselves a fancy planes. And we get, ooh, 
Ooh, the Kazandu Mammoth. A card that is an average free free that can become a 5 5 or bigger. And also, it can enter in as a tap land. Very nice card. We also have the spoils of adventure, such as the spoils we're getting from this adventure of a pack opening. Then we got Relic Fire, and then we got Skyclave Plunder. Eh, nothing right home about. Any showcase? Ooh, we get another puppy! We get another puppy! <laughs> Yeah, we're getting pretty close to this box being empty. Like, I think we're down this after this six packs. Yeah, about six packs after this pack. So, we get ourselves our proxy card. Another bull island. I will never argue for another bull island. And there we go. Lotus Cobra. The card that everybody wants banned. Though, honestly, this can be answered pretty easily. So, still, very powerful card. Great reprint for EDH. It would be kind of cool to get the showcase out of this, but uh, between you and me, I technically pre-ordered a few at uh, Game Nut, so uh, we're good on that department. So pulling a regular out of this is really nice. Then we also got a Skyclave Cleric, a Sproutling, and a Vanguard. Any showcase in the commons? Uh, no. So down to six packs. Are we going to open some shenanigans? Let's see. interesting okay but uh let's focus anyway we got our ad card fancy planes and ooh, great to drop in in limited and also in the absence counter deck Ugh, if you don't answer this card quick it becomes obnoxious luminarch ad sprint one and a white for one one but at the beginning of combat on each turn put a counter on something this with conclave mentor is absurd <laughs> then we get fast word Brushwood Elemental and Rockside Sorcerer. Any showcase cards in the commons? Nope. Let's actually open this pack because it kind of had a weird crinkling to it, so I'm kind of curious. Don't know if that is of my design, but uh, we shall see what uh, shenanigans it brings. So, we get ourselves an ad card, a fancy forest, and. Yeah, a Master of the Winds, a 1-4 wizard that when it enters the battlefield, draw two cards and discard a card. Not bad. But also whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, you may have this switch's power and toughness, more or less. So, very nice. Then our modal is Fury. Then we got a Cleric of the Life's Blonde. And then we got a Merfolk Wind Whopper. Do we get any showcase? Oh yeah, we do get one. We get a Prowling Felidar. So, very nice. Down to the four packs. What are we going to get in these last four packs? We shall see. So, there's our proxy card. I'm kind of surprised how many proxy cards they give you. Anyway, we get a mountain and a foil expedition diver. Pretty decent limited card, in my opinion. And we get, oh, yay, nice. Uh, one of the Moto Rare Land cards. We get the Branch Walk Pathway that can also enter in as a Plains type land. So, boop, boop. Very nice. Then we also got a Thundering Rebuke, a Skyclave Shadowcat, and a regular art Skyclave Pickaxe. So that's very nice. Then, any showcases in the comments? Ooh, we get a Spitfire like Gak. That art is so good. <laughs> so yeah, very nice showcase on that. We're down to three. Can we get any surprise cards in the last three slots? Let's find out. We get ourselves our proxy. We get another bull island. Thank you very kindly. And we get a squad commander, which honestly, this card's pretty legit. A four mana free free that with how many members are in your party, you create one one core warrior creature tokens. Pretty legit. Then we got the unveiled that interesting tap. A considered defense. And a shadow skull a minute. Huh. Anything in the. Last two packs. We get ourselves a coffee token, a fancy forest, and a foil smite the monstrous. Pretty good limited card. And we get, woohoo! I wanted this for actually uh, EDH, so this is perfect. Skyclave Relic. A free mana mana rock, but if you kick it, it creates two copies. Very nice. Very nice card. Then we get ourselves our little florihedron buddy. We get ourselves a cleric, and we give ourselves a relic golem. 
Any yet showcase? Nope. Now we're on to the last pack. Can the last pack give us something saucy? Let's see. Do, 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 do. We get that. We get a planes and we get Ooh, an Archon of Amnilia. Great tech card. So just a nice flyer that's also kind of like a flying hate bear. Great card to end the, the pack openings with. Then we got Malakir Rebirth. Merfolk Wind Robber. And of course we should end on the cutest little mouse ever in its regular art. This mouse is so adorable. Like Antoine Jose Manzanito, forgive me if I'm butchering your name, but this mouse is so adorable. You did a good job on that. And any showcase cards? Nah, nah. So, that is the box, as I can see. But you? So, we're gonna throw all this in the trash, uh, at least the wrappers in that. And so far, our rares have actually been pretty legit. Like, let's take a look at all the mythics we got. So, we got. Seagate, Liverform, Nissa, the Amelia's Call Land, Omnath, Showcase Omnath, Felidar Retreat. No, it's not a mythic, but it's really cool looking. So, yeah, we got about one, two, three, four, five mythics out of it. That is pretty good for a box to have three mythics. You, on average, get around three and four, so. Very nice, but it is great to pull the Omnath showcase art. So gorgeous. And I think my highlights in the uncommons is let me get this into a pile. So I got to do the old kind of do 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 I think the showcase uncommon for me is definitely the foil Florahedron, if we get to it. But there's also some nice showcase art cards, so let me get to it. Yeah, pulling the foil Hedron is actually really dope, so I actually like pulling this card. Anything else? We did got a lot of good uncommons, I'm not gonna lie, so this was actually a pretty legit good bots opening, so nevertheless, we just got done with the bots opening shenanigans, so I'm gonna take a quick, like, 10 minute break to set everything up, and we're gonna actually stream some MTG of the arena with the draft format, but nevertheless, I think it's safe to say the bots was pretty legit, if I say so myself. So, we'll be back shortly. I just need to do some setting up stuff. 